All right, uh, grand rising, everyone, again. This is Shalanda or Shay Seeking, and we are back in the book of Genesis. Again, it's funny how I had a somewhat revelation and we're ending up here in Genesis. But again, revelations is about revealing or an unveiling. And again, the fact that we're in Genesis, that time would have been very fresh as to what the original works were. Again, so the unveiling would, all, would really already be in the beginning or prior to the primitive age of or old world, right? Old Testament, old world, okay? Um, so again, we're reading out of a Dewey Rhymes or whatever um, Bible, the New Catholic edition, okay? St. Joseph, the new, uh, hmm, what does it say? The new Catholic edition of the Holy Bible, okay? And um, it's talking about the Pentateuch or Tuch. <laughs> I had to look that one up how to pronounce it, really. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, we're just talking, okay? So, again, I'm using, um, uh, okay, so, again, fair use. We're using this for so-called educational purposes, okay? <clears throat> and this is not your mama's Bible study, all right? Because, again, we're using things of the past, present, and future in order to decipher or to find out what we're really talking about in this text. Again, that will help people in general when it comes to, again, the mental. Like, I feel like it's just we have had a false perception of notion or notion of many things. And again, I think Source has, you know, sent, again, people here to kind of clarify things. And, you know, things can get in the way, you can get off track, but I really do feel like doing it this way, it opens up the mind, it expands the mind, right? And if, and that, again, you'll hear me say it over and over again in these videos, is the only thing that I'm trying to do. It The path to source is within you. So again, we already have it in there by nature, right? Inside of you by nature um, or naturally. But there are outside sources and, it, uh, you know, um, different things that we can use in order to go deeper into that in yourself at the same time, right? So again, know thyself. So again, um, hopefully this gives an understanding, like I said, of the things that are to come or are already here or, again, help people to decipher and see and discern, okay? Using wisdom, knowledge, and the information that we have obtained over time to see. So it says the Pentateuch is substantially, okay, the work of Moses, right? So in order to be something that's substantial here in etymology, it says ample, sizable, okay, fourteen mid 14th century, okay, 13th century, okay, having substantial or reality material. Okay, late Latin pertaining to substance, substance or essence. So again, when I'm talking about, when I'm talking about people tapping into your, uh, like, okay, even when we're talking about the books being open, okay, this is, a, for me, it makes me feel like this is a way of other people to tap in or to go in to the dome or the head and mine the minds of the people, of the ancients, of the bloodlines, the royal empires and bloodlines of the original people of this land prior to, prior to Genesis and prior to colonization. And we go there, to me, it's talking about Israel, which... <clears throat> are treated the worst in the biblical text, not because of their particular God. They forgot their God that's within them. This happened to them because of other gods that had taken over um, <clears throat> in latter times of the text. Lord gods and other gods, right? Or other, like I said, god running forces. I mean, we have to know what, what, what we where we came from to know where we're going. So I don't do these types of talks out of hate or to say we should blame or target any individual or groups. It is just to simply see, 
we're all in a state of mind, or we should have been by now, in a state of mind where we can not put our person, we can put our personal affairs to the side, our own personal uh, bias, uh, ways of looking at things and thinking to the side in order to obtain the truth. That's all. Okay. So again, existing, having real um, existence, <clears throat> a considerable, it's considerable importance. Um, size or worth again we're talking about worthy those that are worthy of something that again could be hidden from them because of again principalities and rulers okay so it says or relating to the real nature or essence elements of something having substance in capable of being treated as fact not imaginary so again right now we have people running the mill saying people are sounding crazy or you know that's just a part of their imagination or i can't believe that because that's not how i see it and again it doesn't matter what people think it either makes sense or it doesn't it either again helps you find the truth or it doesn't you either discern or you don't you have eyes to see and ears to hear or you don't <laughs> it's just that is just it <clears throat> these particular people that are out on this plane right now are just messengers but again, large groups tend to, for whatever envious, deceptive reasons, they want to, again, try to vilify or deny certain things that most of them already know. Okay? So again, providing abundant nourishment. This nourishing is what we've been doing. We've been being nourished by something so again at the at the end of the day that's what usually happens people nourish themselves on the earth nourish themselves on in the past on the soil and what do they do after that <clears throat> they try to get rid of the very thing that gave them that nourishment in the first place right once they feel like they have enough and then and then at that point you've lost it You've lost it. You've lost it altogether by trying to silence it or get rid of it when it is the very thing that you need. And again, this is done by, we must know, people that look like you and people that do not look like you. Take it however you want to. That is just the case. It is about the soul. If everyone even has one. It is about the substance it is about right the works okay part of the reason why we have been mm, given these perceptions is to keep a divided nation Okay, and keep people fighting over things that, again, they, they affect us day to day, but not in the way that we think. Again, th this is about nourishing each one, teach one, so that we can become those uh, upright or righteous people and fair and, you know, it's all about being fair and balanced to me. And um, again, that's the only way to be able to move a so-called nation or a world forward for a better place for, again, us and our children. Because again, quickly, I, can, I see right now how quickly things can be taken, take a, a turn for the worse because of one or more individuals that, again, have an envious streak in them or, again, some form of hate or, or jealousy or whatnot. Some people are just greedy, right? Some people are just liars. <laughs> and again, it's, it's, it's the advantage, right? It's having a certain advantage that has been installed for a very long time. So even when I'm saying about like, if we look at even like, uh, when it comes to like 16, 19, like I hope that, again, I'm, I'm talking because I'm, Everything that I'm talking about lately in the past couple months is leading into something, right? <clears throat> so we have to realize that when I'm talking about these things, I'm saying this because this is how historically it happened. I see it happening again. And when we're talking about 1619, we have to realize that in 1619, uh, so-called the first colored or so-called African slaves were brought over. 
um, you know, in the 400 years would have been what? 2019, right? So in 2019, something had already shifted and changed. People talking about the 1619 project and all these other things, something had already changed. They were trying to incite a race war. Again, something had already changed. Something was already brewing and something was in the works. So again, we're way far behind. This is why. There had already been workings being done to make sure that whatever they were planning was going to be accomplished. And to give those other forerunners, right, or people that have been put into place, right, planted into certain positions in order to be ready when it came. And that, again, some of these are going to look as though they are the spearheads. But again, when we're talking about the substance or substantial things, um, that it comes from the good quality, the good stock of the origines of the America that have something that is something that is should be treasured and uh, and not downcast or try to be eliminated or again robbed of that very essence that essence each of us have a certain special characteristics about ourselves so again if you have entities that are going into again state capitals or capital buildings which also i think okay represent certain uh, empresses, possibly emperors of this land, to take out or to mine the mines, right? Again, by using technology or hyp hypnosis or other things to be able to tap into certain people's, you know, this is something that Source has instilled in us. <clears throat> but people have to think that they have the right to go in and remove and share and display. So we're, what we're really trying to get to is the tree of knowledge and the tree of good and evil, right? That's where we're going hopefully today. <laughs> Cause there's more to it than we, we think, okay? All right, so having an abundant supply of money or possessions of value, again, worth more than gold, right? God's most precious pearl. These things, right? Should not have been tampered with, right? By certain people. It's like almost taking, again, when, when we're talking about uh, divine masculine, feminine, or collective, right? That's like taking the empress, right? Like we talked about the other day. And using her, right? We talk about like harems and we talk about you know, all these kind of like gathering of these souls or whatever. <clears throat> the only thing is some of the things that are happening to us today are unseen and some are seen. So I think that, again, there are a large amount of us here that have been, our gifts have been uh, amplified in these times so that we can tell the story. And again, it's through remembering or even hearing someone else talk about something in that nature that kind of reminds you of something that you might have experienced. And then you may be able to realize what has really been going on and, you know, be able to... Uh, maybe stop it or just analyze, you know, to know if this is something that, again, is good or bad for the group or church or body or whatever, which is just the people. All right. So, um, yeah, so it's something that is very valuable. But then again, so like, but thou art rich, right? <laughs> Because the riches are stored in your storehouse. You, especially when it comes to uh, these uh, divine feminines or feminine or high priestess or empress or whatever energy. We are the storehouses, right? So the, we just have to re look at the whole thing when we're talking about this whole thing here. Because you are the gift. You are the jewel. The Jews or jewel. But at some point in time, there's been something that has happened where, like, people are trying to take the riches from the vassals, right, and plant them into other individuals. Again, this could be like study groups or just anything like that. 
And so the thing that I'm fighting against is because I know for a fact that something like this has been done, especially when it comes to my platform. And while mine is sitting here very slowly growing, uh, I can see other uh, <laughs> entities rising up in my essence. You cannot deny or unsee your essence when you feel it and you know that it's leaving your body. You just can't tell if it's principalities or if it's the very people that you shared that information with that have taken it and used it for their own purpose to, again, use treason and overthrow the very empress out of her own land or get her killed or let her be defiled, right, without her knowing, okay? And that is the thing that is the problem for me. You cannot do that to people because of, and I'm saying it don't have nothing to do with no damn paperwork or nothing like that. If you know who people are by their their heraldry and their, uh, this is about a royal regal bloodlines, okay? And so you, people, because of whatever reasons, want to or wanted to at one point in time, um, like I said, defile these people so that they would not still have that connection with God or source. To soil it, soil the soil, dirty it, also exploit the dirt, right? While they go on and build idols, right, which are just something that is not the original or native, and I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm saying it with the definitions and what they actually mean. Native is just not the original. It's not saying that they don't, they, um, that they don't belong. It's not being the words say what they say. If you do, I've done a video on it, very extensive, but if you want to go ahead and do it, look up the term native. This, they are not the original. They are an offspring, okay, of some peoples and some, you know, original people, okay? So, <laughs> all right. Okay, so here... In this little definition here, it says the Pentateuch or Pentateuch <laughs> means simply five books in Greek. The Pentateuch, <laughs> which Jews call Torah, include the five books of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Now, this doesn't necessarily say that it's the five books of Moses. There's been some question. I'm not here to tell you if it is or it ain't. I'm just saying that it's saying that it's simply five books. Doesn't say of this particular entity, but again, okay, here it says that is subs, uh, substantially the work of Moses, right? In the Bible here is saying that it is closely knit. So it's closely knit. So again, it has been grafted in or woven in, right? Literally, wait, <clears throat> literary, I need my glasses. <laughs> unit and was originally conceived as one work written for a single purpose okay so again that purpose i feel is again for a a, a certain uh, type of substance right to feed or fuel that group when it's time okay it's just those that are so-called ministering or, again, doing these types of works with the text are helping to open up the eyes of the people and lift the veil, okay? And it should help in all aspects. And that's what I like about this, this way of seeing it, okay? And using the proper, so-called proper, you know, definitions. Originally conceived as one work written for a single purpose, okay? And that was for the rising, right? Or to lift the veil, right? But it's just so it happens. People already knew that that veil was being lifted, but they decided to, again, rather using uh, telepath, uh, telepathic Jedi tricks or, you know what I'm saying, other tools in order to get into your minds. Because, again, I'm pretty sure I know that they know who some of you are. You've been, again, being watched or monitored um, as minorities, again, <laughs> minors or whatever, your whole life. Okay? So people want to forget the blood, right, of Christ or that blood, right? And they want to, again, try to use man's law, 
which again, it's there, right? But again, it's almost like the whole thing of not living on bread alone. Okay, to keep before, so to keep before, like in for, like for, like being ahead of, okay, or in front of, wow, even thinking about that, for a single purpose, to keep before um, the, Israel, the Israelites, again, Israel is one thing, and the Israelites are another, the Israelite are something we can say a lighter version by blood, right? Or by, you know, visible aspects of these particular people. But again, it's just not, it's a lighter version. Like it's something has been, it's not as uh, robust, right? Okay. As what it originally was. It's been watered, watered down or something. And, not, and I'm not trying to say that in a rude way. Excuse me. The memory that God had, okay, the memory that God had called them to do. So again, this says it's a memory. <laughs> you dig? That God had called them to be his chosen people. And had, <clears throat> excuse me, entrusted them with the promise of Messiah. Okay? So again, this is something where God had, you know, given these people, called them in and given them something. But again, if we look at it, when it comes to certain portions of those Israelite groups or those particular groups, what did they do? They went against. But did they go against their original God or did they go against, again, the ones that were coming in to now um, uh, colonize or, you know. So I think that's where the mix up came because now if we look at it like that, then it was woven, right? Right. So you're having a little bit of what the old is mixed with what is new. And it said the Pentateuch was divided into, uh, in the course of the time into five parts of the book. Okay. We, this, I'm reading back in the Bible now. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. It began as a kind, as a kind. So it has kinship to something of universal history of mankind again this is okay so it's it's genesis 1 through 11 again this is it began right because we're talking about a seek hold on let's see because remember i said it was conceived right so conceived is late 13th century to take seed into the womb to become pregnant right so taking that nourishment and put it in another womb or again in some type of something that is if we even think about the world card right all right so again it, it's something about even just if you think about that like something is in a womb it's floating around in there you know it's just you know in its own world but at the same time you know it can hear what's going on around right but can't really communicate you, you can't hear the fetus crying or open its mouth or burping while it's in the womb. But everybody can kind of, it's like an aquarium even. Everybody can kind of be, if they wanted to, again, and I'm talking about this in an allegorical, symbolic uh, way. Right? So, all right. So, again, to take in and hold, to become pregnant. So again, when we're talking about this pregnancy, this is being filled with something, right? So being, th this is, in this day to take, and this is what I'm saying, it's a difference between just being inspired or by, you know, something like that. But we're talking about, I, we're talking about people building, I won't use the word that I used the other day, okay? Right? Other vassals that are artificially induced to carry the word of God when it came to came to them most of it from a certain person that really is not many people that can do it that way that is some concern because I see the slightful and spiteful things that have happened to people in the biblical text and again Source has given me a way to view and interpret this and like a storyteller to give it to us back. 
some of us that have been able to tap, tap into our records. So for somebody else out there, again, taking all of that substance, that essence and substance and sucking it like a succubus copycat energy in order to fill it with something, that is a problem. That is a problem while also hiring a group of, again, <laughs> I do look at it as Simba, you know, in Scar and the hyenas to take that information. <clears throat> and again, we don't do this again. Now, we, we want to talk about so-called race of people. Who does that? Because a man is acting a certain way and doesn't want to be honest and truthful and open with his empress. What are they afraid of? So you'll take it to, into your own hands to hire a secret service of individuals, right? In order to, to give them what you have taken from the empress, right? In order to then, I don't know, what are you trying to do? Get rid of the empress? And in some points in this biblical text, I feel like it's saying that one person couldn't ha handle it all alone. The thing I don't agree with is letting people of a lower status or a lower nature, if we're talking about status, right? Again, nobody's life is more important than anybody's. But I'm saying if we're going to be following the code, right, then why let allow someone to do that or, again, when it comes to an empress? It is to stain the name because they never really thought or wanted the empress to be involved. They wanted to build a you-know-what, right? They can't take what it is that she offers. It's too powerful. It is the truth. And at one point in time, people are going to see that that truth is stronger than anything else that has been offered. And so again, I say, they don't realize that, again, after doing something like that, things are also, or even, uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at parts of like, even something just came to mind where parts of the pineal or parts of, you know, your, your mind or your makeup by using materials you know what I'm saying, in the air or in our food or in everything like that to already corrupt and corrode certain ways of our thinking and our thought process. <clears throat> but again, I feel like there's a regeneration of the information that has been lost or that something that we need in order to grasp onto or regenerate, right? Because I think not only will people take from, they also want to then stop you from being able to excel or keep moving or keep you uh, covered, right? Because covered can mean two different things, right? We're, we'll talk about it later when we get to it. But again, our, is, it, is the covering just to make sure it's okay to let this beast loose? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or this, you know, entity or energy loose? You know, or was it just used to defile and leave abandoned? Like I said, all right? So again, you see what it says here on the screen, to take and impregnate. So again, putting it into another entity. Take into the mind, okay? General notion in the mind. Nearly all the senses take effectively take to oneself, take in and hold. Again, so again, take in and hold. <laughs> Even to have and to hold. Do you see what I'm saying? So the holding of is to keep that uh, individual or that entity or that energy suppressed or oppressed. And that's the parts that I never did really, you know, understand and then have an idea for. Yes, because they've taken in your essence. And so now they feel like, again, they are they have obtained it to the full capacity. Right. And will, again, create or mold an entity and place it somewhere in the headlines again so that then right no one will see where the real thing came from to judge or regard look upon okay this is that watchful eye this is that eye that of surveillance that we feel a lot of us you know gang stalking or whatever you want to call it it's just right this just is the right way i mean it just is the way and anybody that's trying to deny it, they know that they're just a liar. <clears throat> and they should not be in the positions of power that they're in. So become pregnant or undergo conception, okay? So anyway, this is just getting a general understanding. This, this should just be able to expand 
Again, minds, if that's all we can do. Mm. So again, we'll read this one more time. It begins as a kind of universal history of mankind, Genesis 1 through 11, but quickly limits itself to an account of the immediate ancestors of the Hebrews. Hmm. Genesis 12. I don't know why it just says that. And finally becomes in the following books, Exodus to De Deuteronomy, the history of the Hebrews up to the time of conquest of the promised land. Okay, so again, we're talking about the history of the Hebrews. Okay, this is talking about, again, what's going on again right now. It's just a little bit more underneath our noses because we're not paying attention. We're dealing with things that incite emotions and fear. Again, emotions and fear. No one can think straight. This is the reason why they do these things. And this is the reason why we, you see, have so much strife between each other. Because, I mean, it's just conquer and divide. <laughs> Conquer, conquest, colonization, it's all the same to me. Somewhat, okay? Okay, so again, when we talk about the conquest, right? Remember, we have con there. American. <laughs> but we have con there. The defeat of an adversary. So again, some of you don't even know that you have adversaries. Because you don't even know who you are. And so that's the thing about me never being against anybody doing their research. But it just doesn't, in their, their um, D, not DNA, but their uh, family tree or uh, genealogy. I've never said that I'm against that, right? Some people are going to have time to do that. Some people are going to have, you know, access to do that. <clears throat> Some people are going to, you know, take more time into that. For me, unfortunately, it's just I... You know what I'm saying? I work on it. But again, there's a lot of iffy things. And then also I'm doing this. Like this is, feels like this is my sole purpose. Or at least one of them. Maybe because I was going to be one of the ones that were going to be affected. And nobody could tell it like those who have the visions and the, the, the seers and stuff of these certain bloodlines that, can, that are actually going to have these visions and these dreams in this time. That are going to help assist with the words that we're reading so, us, so that we can get a better perception because the perception is twisted. The book is mostly telling, again, about history and it's kind of true. Just, again, the perception of who the individuals are in the text is where it's at. You're always looking outside and looking at it's somebody else when these bloodlines stream back to yours. Okay? So again, um, defeat of an adversary. Okay? Subjugation or conquering by an armed force. So again, when we think about arm, do etymology on arm because, you know, we think about coat of arms, the arms that are on the coat of arms. Let me see. Like this one. Right? This is just one of the ones I remembered had this. Right? That's an arm. And this also looks like a pillar. Right? And this integritas is integrity. Right? I think. If I, if I can recall. Alright? And also these little things here. I don't know exactly what they are. I'm pretty sure you can get the breakdown on it. But they look like seeds. Almost. Right? And so we'll look at... Um, mm -mm, that wasn't what I wanted to do. So I thought this was funny here. Um, 1930 in reference, is, which is after like 1928. I don't know, 1928 just really stands out as a time where I feel like was the time when some of our ancestors actually were were not conquered until the 1800s and eight or the 18th dynasty you did what i'm saying <laughs> into the 1920s 28 sticks out to me for some reason right when you look at those um the old codes or whatever it was that we looked at a while back uh slave codes or something like that i can't remember 
So reference to naval buildups, okay? All right? And then right here it says arm. So again, these are the two related terms. Uh, a competition between nations to have the most powerful ornaments or ornaments, right? Things that are going to be hanging on the tree. They're going to be hanging on the tree, right? They, they might not even came from that damn tree, but they're going to be hanging on it. Do you see what I'm saying? The arm, the upper limb of a, a human body. So again, what are we talking about? You can go back and look at the video we did on humans and the difference between man and human and all this other stuff. So again, the humans, or you can do it on your own with this here. It just opens up so many things. Okay? Of a human body, the upper limb. Well... Also, race or ras. Okay, swift running, an act of swift. Because again, Satan knows that he had a little bit of time, right? Okay, so these people had a little bit of time. So from that time in in uh, 2019 till now, look at where we are. <laughs> and did that start this whole Genesis over where we're now in the third day, which the day can be considered to be a hundred years or a thousand years, y'all know I always get it twisted <laughs> for some reason, just that thing, all right? Because maybe it can mean either or, I don't know. But sometimes it's not meaning three days. That's the most important part. Some, you have to then measure that in with everything else that's being talked about to see what we're talking about. And then again, we can look at right now what's happening in uh, 20, uh, 2021, okay, To see if we're in the third day, if things that are happening in this day resemble things that were happening in the third day in Genesis. Okay, that's kind of like a trick key kind of thing to use. Right. So. Let's see. So then I looked at arms because I wanted to know about like when were people using guns or what, whatever, like the history of it or whatever. And so, again, the hand cannon from the Chinese uh, Yun dynasty, uh, 1217, 1368. Now, again, I'm looking at this date and I don't know, right away, something just told me that this could also be talking about eight. I don't know why is it, you know, sometimes I see the thing of the year of our Lord and Savior as, as the 1500s or 500. Okay, I haven't looked at it in a long time. But then again, you know, if you add this three, 69 on it you get 1869 but I, you know i will go back and look at what what new what, like when did automatic i don't know really much about guns okay but like automatic arms come into play was it around that time i don't know i mean i would have to look and i don't want to have to do that right now okay but if these people had some kind of this thing here again we're talking about 1421 is this accurate was this was was going on <laughs> you know is how i look at it sometimes okay so this is just a general of where we can be how we can be using genesis and other texts to see what's going on so it's like a recap of what we've been doing on this channel if you're interested the information is still there okay just give credit i mean that's all i'm saying again because the the more we don't because of whatever or we i don't know why people again don't do you know if if you are one of these people that is a builder, you know what? And if you are one of these people that you know people are using you to try and to, um, again, for, so people can perceive that you are that one, then that would be a problem. That would be a problem. Okay? I'm not talking about people that come here for the information and to, you know, enhance them, their selves or whatever. Or, or they see it beneficial. I'm not talking about those people. Those The people I'm talking about know exactly who, and they'll be listening. The people I'm talking about know exactly who they are. <clears throat> so it says here, okay, <laughs> let's hurry up. All right. So again, the history of the Hebrews. So it's not the Israelites. So again, you see how they put mankind here, Israelites, to keep before. 
So in front of the Israelites. So again, this book, this means that this was for the Israelites so that they can study this stuff and try to figure out a way to manipulate it and make it be one way in your perception. Because the mind is a terrible thing to waste. And the mind is the first thing that they got into. That's the real mining that was being done more than anything here. Just like slavery, so-called slavery was really about breeding. If you really want to get down to the, the meat and potatoes and spit out the bones, it was about that. <laughs> Subduing and replenishing. The replenishing is when we bring in humans and Israelites and Jewish the, all those ish and all that stuff is not the original. It's something like it. A lot of these groups that are here that are in positions of so-called power um, or have been placed, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying everybody. Some of these groups is the only reason why I'm telling you to be careful about who you're dealing with. They are just also people that came and helped certain god ridding forces at certain times. Some of them knew what they were doing and some were not, they were not knowledgeable of what they were doing. Okay. Some mixed with their family, some didn't, but that was, <clears throat> again, we are our ancestors, but we are not really right now. We have a chance to change things and do the right thing. All right. So it, although it's the history of the Hebrews, right. It's been kept before or in front of the Israelites up to the time of conquest of the promised land. So again, at the time that they con conquested or were able to break into the promised land. And what land is that? <laughs> okay. Are we talking about the land, this land that our houses are built on right now in general? Or are we talking about certain individuals? And again, we know that, you know, there have been promises as to, you know, what somebody wanted and God said, hey, I'll give you this or you can't have that. Or when it comes to this tree and stuff, you, if we realize this talking about certain individuals sometimes, certain heirs, certain, again, people. But again, that's what I feel is going on right now, a conquest of the promised land. It's been overrun and taken over, and they think that it's been overthrown. She. Okay, so again, here it's saying, <clears throat> excuse me, because then that land would be, again, the all-inclusive something, right, to a nation or a group. But even like I was saying, most people, we, we have this whole complex of so-called these women, black women, and really we are only ones that put ourselves and let others put us into these uh, crab in the barrel or these fish bowls with this kind of thought or theory, Right? But again, we have to be honest. There's a lot more infighting that goes on than other. <laughs> we will take and try to expose each other in a personal matter, right? Especially when it comes to our women and make them look uh, and try to expose them when they're looking their uh, worst or make fun of or ridicule or just, you know, really just burn them at the fucking stake. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes it wasn't even really burning somebody at the stake. Sometimes burning you at the stake was, bur you ever, you know, what, what do we used to call them? Roasting sessions in school. That's also burning at the stake. Just like a crucifixion is the same thing. For mostly male, you know, energies. Okay. I think the public, you know, in our personal lives, when it came to people of certain status, we could burn women, but I don't think that really, um, I think that more things that were brought to the front lines on, on mainstream things would be burning or crucifying men at a high rate. The people had a way of doing it to the women amongst each other. But in our now being in this status where some of us are gaining type of control, right? 
Again, that's why I'm saying about being careful because everybody ain't us. And it seems like the people that ain't us are getting the more prominent roles while the people that are us are being put underneath their foot. And that's all I'm trying to say. And it, it is more not even about, again, looks. It's not even about looks. We have features. We have hundreds and hundreds of grandparents. I mean, are you serious? And that's all I'm saying. We know that documents and things have been, again, doctored. That's not always the case. Let's look at the living prophetic things that are coming, again, the works of the people, the way, including other things as well, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, we should look into those things. But it's not by that alone, you see? Because those things could be docu doctored, all right? One second, I need to check on... All right, so again, let me finish this. I had to go check on the baby. Um, so again, let's just read through that part and then we're gonna go ahead and just break down what we're talking about when it comes to this tree, okay? So again, it says Genesis, therefore is the in introduction of the history of Israel. So again, even if you look at it as Isis, Ra, and El. Because the Elohim is mentioned in Genesis, one of the first chapters. I can't remember exactly when they use Elohim, right? But then you, you're talking about Ra, right? Which was, is supposed to be one of the oldest, right? And then um, is. Now, is, again, I think is for Isus, the way we see it. Um, hold on one second. All right, so again, we're talking about um, the IS, I think is for um, in Bibles, you know, in different writings, I've run across the, the name um, Isus, right? But again, you know, um, there was no J at the time when this name was supposedly introduced. Um, so again, it would not have been a J, then would it be a Y or again, would it be I? Again, to be able to understand and see these things, one would have to, again, expand their mind in a sense. And then also, you know, you don't have to. It just helps to do that. And then also look at other things. Not bread alone, but every word that came out of God's mouth. So again, that's also talking about like, if we're not able to hear God speaking, then what did that mean? Because it didn't say for a certain amount of time or anything. It just said they're going to live on this and everything that comes out of God's mouth. Well... I was just thinking about this the other day. God spoke. Many people want us to write things or write them down, you know, and some people may have time to do that. It may work, but again, he spoke things. Other people wrote them. He probably didn't, cause you know what I'm saying? If you think about this, like uh, a God would not have that capacity to write everything that they know or see or are trying to, you know what I'm saying? So speaking it and having someone else be the scribes to record it. So again, in a sense, I can see where source also would utilize a sense of scribing, right? For people to take some information in and then jot it down or record it so that they can use it in like another fashion or way to share the information. But usually when people write something like this, they're saying that, you know, these were by Moses or whatever. Then again, people will know in the test of time that Moses is the one that wrote the, do you see what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, well, what we're saying right now, this kind of thievery or robbery today kind of seems as though, right, that people are letting people illegally tap into things that are personal to you, things that have to do with your makeup, dude, and offering them to other people or taking it from you and instilling it in other people and act like you never even existed. That is something that is spiteful. That's nothing that, and again, don't, you don't, nobody need to protect me from anything. Just tell me the truth. I protect me from liars and deceivers and people that want to, uh, and thieves, right? I don't need nobody to protect me from myself. So again, it says, um, so again, that Israel, that it is, is 
It's what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> and, 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 and the Americas were, had to do with, uh, the, when they first came here, they met with, in some places, we'll even go down to the Amazon because this was before people came through what we would call the new uh, world when it comes to, you know, uh, the so-called British coming in the 1600s. People had already been here coming in through, again, South America and other coasts. <clears throat> so, yeah, okay. And with the old, the serpent being the oldest, well, we know that there are things with that have to do with like dragon headed serpent entities down in South America. Those pyramids are older than the ones that they have over there where they say is, um, Egypt is today, modern day Egypt. Okay. Ancient Egypt was just in America, and I'm just saying. So you can have both, but we ain't going to have modern-day Egypt and then not acknowledge that culture that plenty of artifacts have been found here in the Americas. Okay, so again, in diluting that information and, and not really being very thorough in that information is what leads us to forget about, again, what is. The matri matriarchal women, that warrior women, the ruling class of women that were here. That when those men, those seamen, left their mother and father. And again, I feel like it's also a different aspect to that. We'll get to that later. When it comes to in vitro or when it comes to, again. All right? So, um, leaves the mother and father and cleaves on to the wife. Okay? Same thing. It's allegorical or symbolic for. Either way, whether we're talking about in vitro fertilization or the physical aspect of it during colonization as them leaving their homelands. I don't know. I don't think. Oh, it's all gone. She ate them all. I gave her some this morning. Um, so, yeah, it's that same aspect. It's just. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway, so again, it's the introduction to the history of um, uh, Israel. Okay. So again, after it's been broken up into those, you know, that's the three together, right? Combined. Yeah. I'm even think for some reason something just stopped me and just was talking, just just making me look at the whole aspect of. You know, um, uh, Canada, so-called North America, and, you know, so-called uh, South America, okay? And, um, and then the islands. But just those three, you know, um, I don't know, I just thought about that. One second, I'm almost done. Its purpose is evident by a careful selection of material. The author shows how God's... Um, omnipotence and loving care bring about the formation of the people whom he or she had chosen in a special manner as his inheritance. So this is to take something in, to inherit. It's not your, her your heritage, right? Or your heritage, it, it's inheritance. So again, somebody has been brought into the house or the family of this particular God, whoever this, this God is referring to. But it does say he himself is to rule over them. But again, this is where I'm talking about. This is talking about the house or the women or the body, right, of these or the collective status or groups of these people, right, being brought in. And most of them is whipped like a harem of women. I mean, let's just keep it all the way real, okay? Because, again, there's a lot of things that are seen and there's some things that are unseen. There's some things that are sensed, some visions. There are things out there. Again, so, right? Different. Oh, my goodness. There's different levels to it. So again, to subdue and rule over the earth and finally then to reign on the earth is just people making sure that women, so-called women, like mothers, right, the womb does not end up in a position of power, even when it is her 
time to shine. Even when she is the brightest star, even when she is the highest in the room, something about this society that what we don't realize how it's so twisted doesn't want that to occur. So whenever you want to stand in your power, you're looked at as something else or you're not, you know, equipped or look at this person, how they're acting. So, again, this all is happening for a reason. OK, and their leaders, judges, prophets and kings are to be merely God's representatives. So, again, if God is upset. So imagine a queen that knows what or an empress knowing who she is and what place she is supposed to stand in and then you have these individuals coming in no matter what who they are what they look like that is trying to tell her how to run or rule her empire right and so again right now like i said with this whole energy it's about like okay so if you don't want to come in under me or even when it says that the temp the tempter or the tempter tempter was saying hey you know and i would i'm, I'm going to say isis or isus right don't you want to fall down in front of me and worship me and then the whole get behind me but again stand next to me you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's just that's it because again the woman has been so disrespected especially so-called women of color and we'll just go on and bring it on down to american origines women are the only women in the world that people can, especially ones that look like them or could have in the past, I hope that we are coming out of that, disrespect to the utmost. Or when they do something wrong, you got to bring her down, right? But then we'll get with other women and treat them and uplift them, right? Because it, it, it stems from something else that is deeper than that. Hold on one second. Okay, anyways. <laughs> yeah, to bring her down like to a, again, once you know what subdue, right? And replenish and all these things mean, then you'll see exactly what it was about. And once they got them under their wing, then what happened? They used them for everything. To, they used the earth or the land or to nourish nations to birth nations so the story of genesis is again like we always say a story of building a nation or a foundation on top of a nation that was prior uh that was a prior uh empire or empires And so, again, the leaders, judges, prophets, kings, okay, so, again, bring it, being brought under God, well, I'm saying this version of God seems to be the principalities and rulers that colonized the land and lost their way at some time, even though they had this information in front of them, right? They, they, perceived, they gave you a false perception or notion as to what the words were actually saying, and again, to keep you away from yourself. This is why we stay so busy throughout our lives, hustling for everything, because it's keeping you away from yourself. And that's why, I'm, you know, when it came to, you know what, the world had to slow down and take into account. But during that time, when everything was shut down, there were other people that were at work. We won't even say. We, they were at work. While you couldn't go to the Social Security building, there was people at work. And now we're having all these mass deaths and casualties that don't have nothing to do with this you-know-what, but it's not, being pop it's not being publicized like the you-know-what. So is, is this what it is? We have a militia or a group of people that are here that are taking out certain people that would be heirs of things with certain ties? I'm, I'm just wondering if that's what, 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 we, what we're looking at. exactly what happened last time they didn't burn all that stuff they took it and had it before them and didn't give it to you <laughs> and then gave you a false perception of what you're reading in this text that's it generation by generation hiding you from your own self 
So they're not even they didn't only not give you the information, but again, it, it it didn't allow us to grow and advance in that time. So this is when Source had to step in and amplify the nature of the people, okay? Uh, in in the ways I think, but again, it, 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 there are some trying times. There's a lot of stuff that's unraveling, and we all play a part. We're playing a part of the <clears throat> lack of knowledge and the gain on it. So Genesis 50, okay, so again, oh, like I was saying, so if the leaders, judges, prophets, and kings uh, of God, again, if this is the God that took over, didn't agree with, with the queen, you see, they say only kings can wear a crown, I doubt. So then she don't have a voice no more. And then you wonder why it's not because of your skin color. It's never been about your skin color. It's been about who you are. It's been about who you are. So again, if that particular God was upset, it's almost like he could then use his platform and his voice and his energy and his whatever after again accumulating so much from you and sharing it amongst all of the women or all of the people in that village or nation or whatever they also have now they've turned into the ones that can give it and take it away right when 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 you had it prior to being involved with these individuals some of the things that they took you through again so there's good and the bad some of the things that you've been taken through during this journey or the spiritual journey or whatever have taught you great things. It was sort of sent it, again, our way in order to, again, as stumbling blocks so you can learn how to hurdle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, you know, the javelin throw. Like, these things is, like, real. <laughs> so, again, like, where to even direct your energy? Because they know that a lot of things, he knew that, or the, the ancestors, guys and guys, knew that a lot of things were going to be happening behind the scenes that you were not privy of. So finding little ways for you to use your sensors or your senses to pick up on these details so that you'll know what's coming or you'll be able to sense what's coming when it is. Okay? Or it's like a dial, turning a dial on one of those old radios where you got to sit there and really listen and really slowly crank the thing and twist it until you get to that right station and then bam, there it go. But again, in this day and age, if you can't display or you can't, somebody else has control over your because uh, they feel as though they have control over you. They have control over your information. And so they can, you know, use the volume button, right, to see what gets put out and what doesn't. And then turn it down on parts that, you know, would resonate with the people. And then turn it up on the parts that would be embarrassing or downgrading the individual. That's just not women. That's all, all individuals. But I'm just using this as a, just using it. All right? So, again, it would be like that where somebody could send in now the troops that they've built by taking from you and then utilize them to come at you, which is why it feels like some of these individuals that may be reading, right, may have too much information. <laughs> you may feel like it's talking to you directly, like this person must be in my head and can see everything that I've done today. Because this is weird, right? So again, rather that is through a virus, a telepathic hypnosis, or something else that's in the air. <laughs> it is happening. And it's good to see it for what it is, not what they want it to be. Okay? So again, <laughs> uh, Genesis uh, 50 chapters covers the period from the creation of the world. So again, this is a creation of a nation on top of something that was primitive. Because it even talks about right here, chapter, it says one, the primitive history. Chapter one, the story of creation. The story of creation is the primitive his history. <laughs> just That's just what it is, okay? From the creation of the world. So again, if we look at the world card in tarot, Something was created around that image of that woman and had her sealed, locked up, like I said, in the jar, in some kind of place, like with headphones or something, something on, so she could not see what was going on. And then one day she decided to just kind of, something just got in her and she just decided to again. It just is the same thing pretty much, okay? So, 
and while they were building. So again, let's talk, talk about it like this. When God was creating in Genesis 1 and then the Lord God came in in Genesis 2 and started to finish up by using the makeup of the things that were left there by God. But then those things were already the leftovers of the things that were made up of the primitive individuals, pre-colonial peoples in their story coming into. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, um, to, the, to Joseph's death in Egypt. So again, Joseph, all right. Hmm. At this point, Exodus takes up the narrative. Wait. Yeah, the narrative of Israel. So again, Exodus takes up the narrative. This is just, Exodus is just, you know, probably what's going on spiritually right now or just in general um, behind the scenes. And then also it has to do with the trail of tears and all those things. Okay, I'm going to try to hurry up because this, this, this child is upset about something. Okay. <laughs> the man... Uh, <clears throat> the main divisions, again, divide and conquer, of Genesis are the primitive history, Genesis 1 through 11, uh, 26, the patriarch, patriarch, would sound like, you know, patriarch, um, Abraham, okay, the patriarchs, Isaac and Jacob, the history of Joseph. Okay. All right. So anyways, we'll stop there. We'll stop there. And then, you know, I just wanted to like, just give a general, I hadn't done one of these in like three years. So I kind of wanted to, just, it was interesting to use it written like this. Um, but we're going to go ahead and talk about some things. We're just going to bring up a couple things to be going. All right. When it comes to Genesis, because again, it's very eye opening now to see how, how it was done and, and sensing and seeing and having visions and things that I'm going through in my own life showing this actually happening seeing you know going to bed one night you know you feel like you know i'm i'm happy i'm going through the motions you know it's a stressful time but you know i'm trying to keep my so-called faith and you know and then you wake up in this because again 